Hello everyone and welcome back to another maths lesson, okay, and today we are looking at measuring capacity lesson 3, okay, and so we're going to just get into it and we say where will 1200 milliliters be on this number line, okay, but the problem is that our number line isn't in milliliters, so we need to make it into milliliters, and we know that in one liter is a thousand milliliters. And in 2 litres is 2,000 millilitres. And in 3 litres is, have a guess, 3,000 millilitres. Okay? So, if I was you, this is what I would have done. Right, 1,200. So, 1,100, 1,200. So, it must be here. No, it is not. Because let's carry on that counting. So, this would be 1,000. 1,100, 1,200, 1,300, 1,400, 1,500. But this isn't 1,500, it's 2,000. So instead, I'm going to count up in 200s. 1,200, 1,400, 1,600, 1,800, 2,000. 2,200, 2,400, 2,600, 2,800, 3,000. So therefore, it is going up in 200, not in 100. So in fact, 1,200 milliliters on here will will be there. This is 1,200 milliliters. Now you also might ask, what is 1,200 milliliters in liters and milliliters, Mr. D? Well, if we have a look at our bar model here, we can see that we have 1,200 milliliters on the top bar. Okay, so this is the whole, and then slowly it's broken down. So we've got 1,000 millilitres and then 200 millilitres, because that is broken down into litres and millilitres. So it would be 1 litre and 200 millilitres. Okay. So, when baking a cake, I use 3 litres and 250 millilitres of water to help me. It was a very big cake. Okay. So how much water did I use in the cake in millilitres? Okay. Pause the video and have a go at the question. Okay, so the question asks, how many millilitres did I use if I used 3 litres and 250 millilitres? So this time, I'm going to use a part part whole model to help me, okay? So, in the top of my part part whole model, I'm going to put my 3 litres and 250 millilitres. I know it should all stay in the circle, but I couldn't fit it in. Okay, and then I'm going to break it down into litres and, into litres and millilitres. So I'd have 3 litres here. And I'd have 250 millilitres here. But now I need to put it all into millilitres. And we know that as 1 litre is 1,000 millilitres, 3 litres is 3,000 millilitres. So then we would do 3,000 plus 250, and it would be 3,250 millilitres. Okay, 3,250 millilitres. All right. And you can see this on the bar model below. We have 3 litres, 250 millilitres at the top, and then we're breaking it down into litres and millilitres. So we've got 1 litre, 2 litre, 3 litres, and then 250 millilitres. So therefore we've got 1,000 millilitres, 1,000 millilitres, 1,000 millilitres, and 250 millilitres. So therefore it is 3,250 millilitres. Okay? So, next question. Can you fill in the missing gaps on this table? So on this side, you have it in litres and millilitres, and in this side, you just have it in millilitres, okay? So pause the video and have a go at the questions. Okay, so hopefully you filled in the gaps in the missing table, and I'm just going to run through the answers quickly. So 4 litres, 700 millilitres, well, 4 litres would be 4,000, plus 700, so it gives us to 4,700 millilitres. And then we have 1,020 millilitres. So I have 1,000, which means I have one whole litre. And then I've got 20 millilitres. I've got no hundreds, so I've just got 20 millilitres. And for the next one, I have 6 litres. So I have 6,000. And then I have 1, which so I have 6,100 millilitres. Am I right? Hopefully you're all shouting at the computer going, No, Mr. D, you are not right. And why am I not right? I am not right because it's not 100 millilitres, it is 1 millilitre. 
So I need my zeros in here as place value holders to show that I have 6,001 millilitres. Okay, nice short video today. I hope that's helped you with what you need to do. So have a go at the questions in your books and I shall see you tomorrow for more. Bye guys.